Okay, friends, today we're going to be making these baby chicks. How cute, coming out of an egg. We're going to start with the base coat of the paint right now, and then next week we will draw it on top of it. The first thing you're going to do with your big piece of paper you picked out is we're going to take it, and we're going to fold it this way, not the long way. Hamburger. You're going to take the ends, and you're going to line them up, so that the corners match and hold with your non-writing hand. And why we're holding that down here is so that that paper doesn't move. I'm now gonna take my other hand and I'm gonna head towards the edge till it starts to crease down and go back and forth a few times. And now I'm going to open it and we're gonna start our drawing. We are going to be painting on here and we're only gonna be doing half of the paint. And what's going to happen is when we tran when we go to fold this over and rub, the art is going to transfer to the other side. That's called a print. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a big C near the edge of your paper. So you're going to go in and with paint, you want to be fast, you're going to do a big C. You're now going to take your paper and you're going to rub not tap we're not tapping we're rubbing and we want to rub a few times adding pressure if you need to stand while you do this you can and now look at that it's transferred to the other side now if you want to you can now that we know where that is go back and trace to add a little more paint on top so that is how you make a print and this is called a mono print because we can only print it once now that we've already printed it it won't work again so now I'm going to do a zigzag to connect on that C shape, only on one side, because guess what I'm going to do? Print it. So I'm going to go in, and it's okay to be kind of thick with your paint, so this works. And I'm going to go from the top to bottom with that zigzag. I'm going to take it, make sure that it's even, rub good. And there we go. Look at that. We have a perfect copy of the original drawing. And what's going on on this side is exactly the same on this side. And that's a type of balance in art. And that's called symmetrical balance when things are the same on both sides. So now what I'm going to do is paint inside these shapes. And you do not need to print when you paint the inside. Um, we just want to do the print to get the shape perfect. But for painting on the inside of it, just take your time. If you need to outline your shape first, then do that. Just like we've done in the past. And then paint. You might have to go over your paint more than once. And now I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to paint in there. And I'm going to outline first. And then paint in. So outline first. And then paint in. And you'll notice sometimes I can see the gray a little bit. So all I have to do is just go back on top and do a second coat if you see a little bit of the background color showing through. All right, now we're gonna do the chick in the middle and this is also gonna be a print. I'm gonna give you a little bit of yellow and we're gonna just squeeze a little yellow in our paint cup. And what you're gonna do with your brush is you're gonna mix to make a light yellow. And what we're going to do on our same side we've been using is a C. See where the crease is here? You want to draw a C from that crease. Okay, save room for the wing. So you can see right from the crease. Go ahead and do that. All right, and now I'm going to go in and before I fill it in, print. Rub, rub. You can even rub that egg if you want to. Maybe some of the colors will transfer. Look at that. Now I'm going to do the wing and that's going to be a little V that comes off of that. So you're going to do a little V shape like that and then print. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint. Now, like we always do, 
outline your shape first. And then fill it in. And if you can see a little bit of the background, when you're done, do a second layer of your color. Look at that. That's the beginning of our baby chick. We will work on this more next time, friends. Awesome. Okay. You're going to add this to the drying rack and we'll work on it next week.